Hello guys, this is Gordon Cole and today we see you are looking at the 6th lecture of this day joins uh, series and in this lecture we are going to talk about path compression. So as I already told you guys that path compression is a technique used to enhance the running time of the disjoint set algorithm. Basically paths, uh, path compression is used to enhance the running time of find operation so let's see what's what's the problem with uh, which is which is being tackled by path compression so let's suppose we have eight uh, eight nodes and initially no one points to any other node which is, which makes all of them uh, separate sets so first input is 8 7 that is merge nodes 8 and 7 so since 8 and 7 are two different sets we simply merge them another input is 7 6 so we merge 7 and 6 another input is 6 5 so we merge 6 and 5 and so on so we keep merging all the elements according to the required input so after all of this we see that what we obtain is a linear tree so if I apply find 8 on this tree what would happen is that uh, a function call to find 8 would be made and then since 8 is not the parent it would make a recursive call to its parent that is to 7 and then 7 would make a recursive call to 6 and then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So after reaching 1, 1 would return the result that yes, since 1 is the parent, it would return the result to 2, and then 2 would return the result to 3, and so on till the 7 node 7 returns the result 1 to 8. So in this find operation, one thing that you guys can see that if there are n elements the complexity of find would be order n since the uh, all the elements have to be traversed at least once so uh, if this kind of structure is made then find operation works in a big o of n order so this is not very uh, very efficient algorithm so we have to somehow reduce the com complexity of find operation so to reduce the complexity of find operation we use algorithm path compression so what is a path compression so path compression basically is a concept that instead of pointing to other nodes the node should parent to a uh, should sorry should point to the actual parent uh, here we can see that almost all nodes except two are pointing to some other node except the original that is the 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 only parent except pointing to one they are pointing to some other node so the path compression technique is basically when you uh, suppose you made a call to find eight and find eight would make a recursive call to seven and then seven would make a recursive call to its parent that is six and then five and then four and then 3, 2 and then 1. 1 would return uh, 1 since 1 is the parent. 1 would return the result 1 to 2. So as soon as it has returned the result to node 2, node 2 after receiving the actual parent, it would update its parent pointer to point to 1. Since it was already pointing to 1 it makes no difference but 2 now would return the result to 3 since uh, 2 was called by 3 so 2 would return the result to 3 now 3 after receiving the actual value of parent would now point to 1 instead of 2 now 3 since 3 was called by 4 so 3 would return the actual result that is 1 to 4 
as soon as 4 received the, the actual value of the parent it would update its parent pointer 2.21 now 4 would return the result to 5 and 5 would update its parent pointer 5 would return the result to 6 and 6 would update its parent pointer and so on with 7 and 8 so we can see now the path is actually compressed why it is compressed because initially if you apply find a it has to go through all these elements to reach to 1 now the path is compressed such that 8 is directly pointed to the main parent that is 1 so if you apply find 8 it would return the result in constant time so this is the basic concept of path compression now let's see how this is achieved so we we have here uh, the iterative function of find so what happens is that whoever is called during the execution of find function all those nodes would have to update their parent pointer this is the parent array one uh, when uh, the parent in the parent array value at index 1 is minus 8 indicating that minus indicating that 1 is actually a parent and 8 indicating number of elements in this set uh, we have talked about this representation in the previous video so if you have not watched it please go and watch it so at index 2 value of parent array is 1 indicating that 2 is pointing to 1 and so is 2 for 3, 3 is pointing to 2 as you can see that and 8 is pointing to 7 which can be seen here at index 8 we have value 7 which indicates that parent of 8 is 7 so here is the code of iterating, uh, iterative find function uh, since we know that if we apply find 4 4 would make a recursive call to 3, 3 would make a recursive call to 2 and then 2 would make a recursive call to 1 the calls would end here because 1 is actually the parent it would return the result to 2 so 2 have to update its parent pointer 2 would return the result to 3 so 3 have to update its parent pointer and 3 would return the result to 4 so 4 have to update its parent pointer basically on the path from the node to the parent all the elements except the parent have to update their parent parent pointer so we have to keep a list of how many elements and who who are the elements whose parent pointer have to be updated for that i have taken a list uh, basically an array a dynamic array called vector so i have taken vector of integer so uh, so i can keep track of the elements which have to be updated whose parent pointer have to be updated so initially while uh, this function call is made on 4 so it, it is basically a find 4 function call so a contains 4 so we check while parent of a is greater than 0 yes parent of 4 is 3 so we add this element into the list to update it later so we add this 4, 4 to this list and update a to be the parent of current node so a would become 3 now so after this operation we have added 4 to the list to to the number uh, to the element list whose parent pointer have to be updated and now a becomes 3 now we again uh, again check if parent of a is greater than 0 yes parent of 3 is 2 which is greater than 0 hence 3 also is pointing to the wrong parent so parent of parent pointer of 3 have to be updated and hence we add this to the list of elements so 3 is also added into the list and a is updated to parent of a that is a is updated to 2 now since parent of 2 still greater than 0 and hence we also add this element to the list and a becomes 1 that is parent of 2 a becomes parent of 2 that is 1 now a becomes 1 and we check this condition why uh, if parent of 
a is greater than 0 but parent of a that is parent of 1 is not greater than 0 hence we have found the actual parent now a contains parent that is 1 so now we traverse all the element from 0 to uh, the si size minus 1 that is we traverse all these elements and at these position that is parent of v of i we update them to be the uh, to point to the actual actual parent that is a so at index 2 3 and 4 that is 2 3 and 4 all these value would become 1 so at index 4 we have changed it to 1 at index 3 we have changed it to point two one. here you can see the pointers are updating and at index 1 at index 2 sorry it was already pointing to 1 so there would be no change and after updating all these elements we would return simply we would return the parent since find operation always returns the parent so we actually return the parent so this way the IJT find function can be implemented uh, one advice I want to give to you guys is that uh, it would be better if you guys learn how to use the recursive function instead of uh, IJT function because uh, recursive functions are easy to write uh, let's see the example of recursive function so this is the base case that is if parent of a is less than 0 that is if parent of a is negative which in indicates that it is actually the parent if we have found the parent that then we would return so if parent of a is less than 0 then return a this is the base case otherwise find uh, apply find function on parent of current node for example if we are at node 4 then apply find function of parent of 4 that is 3 and this would uh, basically after all the execution of all the recursive calls x would contain the actual parent so since x is the actual parent hence parent of a the parent pointer of a have to point to x so here we are updating the parent pointer of a and then we are returning the actual parent so how it would happen find 4 would make a recursive call to find 3 find 3 would make a recursive call to find 2 and find 2 would make a recursive call to find 1 now at find 1 we see that parent of 1 is less than 0 yes so we return 1 so as soon as we return 1 we reach to find 2 who made a recursive call to find 1 earlier so now 2 contains uh, at x that is the actual parent contains 1 since the return value is 1 so now x contains 1 so parent of a is 1 so at, at index 2 the parent point uh, at parent array at index 2 we would have 1 now we would return 1 that is we are returning x now as soon as it returns 1 it would be returned to 3 and as soon as 3 re receives 1 it would update its parent pointer and would return 1 to its calling function that was 4 so as soon as 4 re receives that the actual parent was 1 so it would it, it would update its parent pointer and hence would return 1 to the function uh, to the calling function who made a call to find 4 so in this way the recursive function works and if you are unable to understand how this recursive function is working you can check out my previous videos in which I have talk, talked about the implementation of disjoint set in that video I have explained in detail how the recursive function works so let's see how this code can be written in in shorter way that I usually write so this is the recursive function with path compression this is the base case if parent of a is less than 0 return a otherwise the three three lines are concat uh, concatenated into a single line and this is the only three line code of recursive function of fine with path compression so this is actually finding the actual parent and we are updating the parent pointer to point to the actual parent and as soon as it is saved at parent a it would return the result to to the calling function so this way in three lines we can write 
the find function that is why I encourage you guys to write the function uh, find function and other function in recursive way instead of iterative way so I hope you guys have understood path compression in such details that you can apply it apply this knowledge in in solving other problems so thank you guys for watching keep going thank you